Hello. Today I want to show you how to convert from PyTorch model format like this. This is the file of model of PyTorch to the universal format like this. This is the format is ONNX. And maybe you ask why I why we must do this because that's when they're using this universal format that when for example when you using TensorFlow and then you build a model and then you share that to the for example in github and another person want to use that but that's another person using Python and as you know Python can read a format model from TensorFlow right? so that's why as the middle way that person that provide the model it will be good if he if he convert that model the model file to the universal format like this so because this this is the universal format then it can read from anywhere okay for example here this is just one example of python that can read the onnx format so what you must do install first is this just this onnx model and just onnx model and onnx runtime model and as you can see here the onnx model read numpy data so you don't need to import torch actually you don't need to create a tensor torch you just need numpy and then you can just predict that like that okay, I will show you and this just like this that's how it works okay maybe you ask why I do this mundane task okay actually I have a, a little project that I want to create a reinforcement learning model. No, I want to create a reinforcement learning model to, you know, to play snack game like this. So instead of me playing like this, I want to create an AI or machine learning model that learn how to play snack. So yeah, it's very simple actually. Okay, now let's do the script okay this is the script to convert this model this python model format to the onnx i will just highlight like the important part okay so here here we let we load the model okay if you watch my previous video you will be familiar with this this is the ppo class that i'm using and that i'm used in the previous video then I load that and then in here because the real neural network model user is actor critic then I I build that as you can see here I import actor critic from PPO and then after that I load the wake and bias from the checkpoint here and then after that and this is the dummy input this is just yeah just some dummy input but it will be matching with our input so in this case in this snake game model the input is the input is the grid of the model so it will be 25 times 25 because the grid is like this and then this is the most important line because you must remember this before we export the model to the ONNX we must define the input name it is in the input name I name I name it is I in as input and then output names because there are three output maybe you will ask why there's three output because in the real script in the real act, actor critic script as you can see here we have three output in here in the forward and we will be 
name all of the output. So first output is action, second is action prop, and then the third is reward estimate. And then after that, we just convert that to the ORNNX using this. Okay, let's run. And then after that, you will get this. Okay, because I want to load this model to the web, that's why I'm using the template web from the ONNX, ONN, ONNX GitHub page. They just give us this. So we just, I will just use this. And in the back, there is a step by step to install the page just use this okay now so move to the script so what script that we want to concern is i think there's only two in this.html then main .js oh yeah i already customized the script so in the original script i will show you in the original script as you can see this it's just write the entire HTML page to the something like this but I change that to the so I grab a element from the HTML page that is ID result as you can see here and then I put the result of the model to that div here the important part okay so this is the template of javascript script to use the onnx model you can see here first we create a new session and then here we refer to the model dot onnx that we already converted and then here this is the yeah this is because this is just the example this is just a random number but you but here the shape of the data is matching with my input right and then after that we convert that to the olt tensor and it's same as in the python as you know first we create in the numpy and then we convert that to the python tensor right and here i receive the i receive the data to the one times 625 because this is the actual input that the model will expect not not just this but you must do it like this and then here remember that i ask you to remember about this what name that we name for the input of the model here because we already we name the input of the model as input then in here we must type input too and then after that the model is running in here and then after that we extract the output and as you can see here we have three output actually and then what we want to know is the action not action prop or level estimate what we want to know is action so that's why in here we access the action and then in here the data is we it's as it's same as we want the value from this action and then after that we put the result to the html page and it's simple just like that oh yeah, I, I forgot to mention that uh, in here as you can see here this is the step by step to install and running right but when you when you run it for the first time you must do this npm install but when you change the code in here you must recompile it and the step of recompile it is in here npx webpack so for example i i change a little code example console log hello this is the chain If you not compile it, if you just run the server, for example, like this, okay, 
Okay, let's open the console. View run this. We will not get that, right? There is no hello in here. That's why we must compile it first. And to compile it, it's like this. NPX web pack. And run the serpent again. And here, our change. And oh yeah, I forget about this. This is the value of the output of our model. So when we refresh this, because the input is random, it will be change. See? Change. And yeah. That is how to convert from Python to the ONNX. And if you ask how to convert from TensorFlow to ONNX, I think in the TensorFlow module, a certain function to do that.